just feels really dangerous, it's scary. Very dangerous around here. The B2142 is a busy 1.2 kilometre long and very narrow road carrying 86,000 vehicles a week. A lot of this is non-local traffic trying to avoid the A2 and A20. In 2013, a new primary school was opened, barely 100 metres from the road. Now at full capacity, with over 400 students, over 100 of them have to cross this busy road to get to and from school each day. And they're not the only ones. Over one quarter of Edmund Waller primary school pupils have to cross the road, as do pupils attending the secondary school, Hatcham College. And on average, 300 of them a day have to cross back again to use their sports facilities. Parents and under fives attending the three nurseries on Telegraph Hill have to cross, as do the caregivers at Thrive CCC, who provide wraparound care and have to chaperone groups of children to John Stainer School each morning. That is a total of nearly 600 children and young people needing to cross the road, every day, at least twice a day. And this is not to mention countless other residents who have to cross, to get to Nunhead Station, to use the community facilities at the Telegraph Hill Centre or St Catherine's Church or the park, including elderly and vulnerable residents. Thousands of crossings each day. Despite this, there is too much traffic and only one zebra crossing on the whole stretch of road nowhere near where the children need to cross. The consequences are alarming. I started to cross, what I hadn't seen was he'd come out of the traffic, was driving very, very fast on the wrong side of the road. I leapt out of the way and he just drove on the wrong side of the road and turned right. So it was a very near miss, I was nearly hit. It nearly happened to me as an adult, it would be, it could easily have happened to a child and that would be terrifying and indeed very dangerous. Right, sometimes you can have four or five kids in you. Um, yeah, it just feels really like heart in your mouth kind of feeling every time you get to this edge. And then the two kids crossing. I looked that way, there was no car coming. Then as I was crossing, a car came from Avenue Road. She just sped the corner and like nearly hit me and the kids. And then I crossed to the middle area and the lady was like shouting at us. So it was also the fright of nearly being hit and also, you know, being shouted at. So it is really very dangerous around here. A child was hit in a collision last year. So I started walking with them across the road and I noticed the car coming, really speeding up. And, and I wondered what, what is going on, she hasn't seen us. So I started hiring the children to really quickly cross the road because there is no space to, to wait in the middle. Um, so my daughter managed to come to the pavement and then my son got, got hit and I, I just felt the, the harm flying with him, um, holding onto my hand and, and then he kind of landed because I was holding him in my hand on the, on the ground and, and, and we, we rushed on the pavement. I think it took my children six months to not to feel scared and, and really anxious about crossing the road. And since then, we never ever crossed here. Um, I witnessed motorists just not, not paying attention to people wanting to, to, to cross the road, even if they are a group of parents with children. Yeah, I hope something can be improved because uh, I really, really hope nobody has to go through what we went through. Thank you, everyone. These experiences are sadly not unusual. A recent survey conducted in March 2023 found that out of 226 respondents, 98.7% felt unsafe or very unsafe crossing the road. Not a single person felt safe. 157 people have reported near misses or actual collisions with pedestrians or cyclists. Local residents have been campaigning for safer and healthier streets for over 30 years. And there have been some measures introduced to reduce speeding and improve safety. Speed bumps at the north end, HGV width restrictions, traffic islands, some lowered curbs and a 20 mile an hour speed limit. But our survey shows 
it is clearly not enough. Local residents are fed up and want change. Enough is enough. On the 10th of March 2023, nearly 100 children and caregivers turned up in the pouring rain to demand safe crossings. This is just the start of the action. Lewisham wants to have 80% of us walking, cycling or using public transport by 2041. We want the same. We want to walk to school. But we do not feel safe. 25 years ago, someone died because there wasn't a safe crossing. Is it going to take the same before something is finally done? How long before there is another fatality? We, we need, need safe, safe crossings. crossings.